Well, you find me and him, El Fluffy Creature. Look at him, eh? Look at him. That's his little catchphrase, isn't it? Look at him. <laughs> We're on the park lake, and this is going to be the first in a series, well, the start of my series about winter fishing. Welcome to the first of the winter vlogs. If the first time you've come across my channel and you like these type of videos, then you may want to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon and you'll never miss another video again. So where are we for the first of the series of winter vlogs? Well, me and him, Look, he's doing what he does best, sniffing around, having a little s sneak around for any rats. Bless him, look at him, eh? That's his new catchphrase, isn't it? Well, we're on the Park Lake, but we're going to be going to lots of different lakes around the country. We'll be going to Farlows, we're going to be going to Sandhurst, and, well, plus the Park Lake, but, and we're going to be having a few guest guys on the vlog to find out how they approach their winter fishing. So we're going to be going to Cambridgeshire, meeting a few guys and a few other places around the country. So, it's all action packed. Look, hang on, look, look. What's getting the bed chair already? Look, it's trying to drag the bed chair away. It's trying to drag it away from the barra. He's that impatient. A few rabbits around here, so he'll be off after them in a minute. Bless him. Right, so what are we going to be doing? Well, we've got four eight hours for this first, first trip on the park lake. It's bloody freezing. It's going to be one degree tonight. We've got a strong north northwesterly wind blowing. So we've decided to come on sort of the side of it. Normally, we go down that end, because that's where I've been seeing the fish as it, this past autumn. But we're going to come up on the side of it and sort of a little bit on the back of it, because that wind's going to continue blowing over there. Was the last fish that was out was from this area and there's been fish seen out against the island to me right there's another swim to the right there's no one in it and there's only one other person on the lake which is right over the other side so we've got the whole lake to play with so we've got 48 hours i'm going to get the kit off the barra keep him happy get the bed chair up we're going to settle in we're going to ping them out to a couple of deeper areas i like to target the deeper areas as soon as it gets cold it'll be interesting to see what the water temperature is because last time i was down i think it was just around hovering around 10 just sort of under then it go a little bit above that was a week ago so i'm looking forward to seeing how much it's dropped because we've had a bit of cold weather a few frosts and it's not long to bloody christmas only a bloody another four weeks i think four or five weeks max that come come around quick doesn't it so i'm gonna look 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 at him look he's gagging to get in that bed chair so without further ado I'm going to crack on, get the kit set up, get the rods out, and then I'll tell you what I'm doing. Well, welcome back. Pinged all three rods out now. Got two on pop-ups. Got one on a washed out pink, one on a fluoro white, another one on a bottom bait. I put them out there, went out, got the drops, single up base for tonight, just to see what's going to be happening. See where I see the fish, might even be moving. You can see out there, it looks beautiful. Got one out by the island, one out there. The other two are out in open water to the left. On a couple of little spots that I know out there. So it's all looking promising. Not seeing no fish, bloody freezing. You've got that northerly wind coming across. But it's just starting to die down now. Fluffy creature, he's in there somewhere. Couldn't wait to get in the bag, bless him. Couldn't wait. Well, you see, he was clawing at the bloody bed chair, trying to get in. So he's sorted. Now I've got, a, well, Bit of carnage there, but I've got to tidy all that up, get, get the swim sorted out, get myself settled in for the night, and listen and watch, and listen and watch some more. See if I can find them. Hopefully, I have one. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Beautiful evening, even though it's cold. All to play for. 48 hours on the park lake, and tomorrow I'm going to talk about the rigs and the baits and where I'm sticking them and why I choose certain bits of the lake. So talk about that tomorrow. Until then, see you then. Well, welcome back. We'll just give you a little update, tell you what's going on. It's just after dark. Got the Coleman on, 
Look, king of stoves. Him on, cup of tea on the go. You can see it, look, cup of tea. Just put me fur, I just put me merino wool base layer on. And now I don't, I don't put my base layer on before I leave home. I take it with me, I put my bag and I put it on after I've pushed the barrel, I've got set up. But you sweat when you do that, even if it's freezing cold. I've learnt over the years that you sweat and you'll get cold that way. You put the merino wool underlayer on and socks and you're damn fine sexy, I tell you. Uh, you might notice as well, look. Ventilation. When you've got the cooker on, when you're warming up the place, because I've got to just take, it can be freezing tonight. Got to have that ventilation, guys. So important. People have died when they zip fully up put the carbon on or put the cooker on and die of carbon monoxide poisoning so be aware just have a bit of ventilation so the oxygen could come through really important I just want to point out to you he's in there look see him look at him look all, all you got that's his that's his nuts what you can see well he ain't got no nuts actually that's his old cooker loo isn't it <laughs> and his arse and his legs he's buried in their ears for the duration he couldn't wait to get in there, bless him. Well, I'd be the same if I was him. He loves it, doesn't he? So, yeah, so we're out there. We're confident. Now we're watching. We're watching and looking and listening. The radio's not going on. Even though I want to put it on, I'm listening to find, see if anything's jumping tonight. Also, which I didn't show you before, was the water temperature. Remember I was saying, I'm really interested to see what it was. Well, it's dropped a degree. It's nine degrees just before it got dark. It, was not, it will drop a bit more tonight, probably half a degree. But you can see every week it's dropping down a degree or a degree and a half. Winter is here, hence why this is the first of the winter series. Anything below 10 to me is winter. That's water temperature. Air temperature is going to be 1, 2 degrees tonight. So we're going to have a frost, but it's the water temperature which is, which is the one. Hence why also I've come on the back of the side of the wind because that wind down there is absolutely Baltic. To me, the fish just don't want to be, even though that water temperature is still nine degrees, you've got to take that into consideration. It's going to be a degree or two colder down on that wind. So I thought I'd just, you know, because I'd forgotten to tell you about the water temperature, and I wanted to point out about the ventilation, you know, because we don't want to see any fatalities, do we? When you're keeping your biffy warm on that, but I've not even got me, um, me this SJ9 jacket on, because I'm toasty. You know, even with that ventilation, I've got me merino wool underlayer on socks, my hoodie, heavy duty pair of uh, joggers. I've just got that on a low, a real low down there, so it don't burn too much fuel. Got me a cup of tea and a go, and we're in the game, aren't we? Rods are on the dance floor, we're in the game. Watch, listen, maybe move, or maybe reposition the rods tomorrow if we don't get a bite. I thought I'd just catch up with you. That's where we're at. See you in the morning. If not, hopefully, during the night with a big fat whacker. From him and me, catch you soon. Well, good morning. Look at that beautiful winter sunrise. Quiet night last night. Didn't really expect to catch anything because it's bloody freezing. Went down to one degree. Water temperature is still showing. It was 8.8. .8. It's just gone up to nine. So with that sun coming up. But yeah, it was quiet. I was all snuggled up. You can probably tell now, the old Tempest. I had the door on as well. And I've got the old Coleman. I'm putting the Coleman on. Get a bit of warmth in there. You've got to be comfortable, it's the main thing. You know, everything changes in winter for me. I have to be even more comfortable. I take probably twice as much gear. Summer, spring, autumn, don't really take a lot of gear. I want to move about quickly. But in the winter, it's, um, I take as much gear as I need to be comfortable. So if I'm not comfortable, then I'm not fishing effectively and I want to go home. You know, that includes food, I take more food, more bits of chocolate, which gives you energy, more carbs, you know, I have a proper dinner, as you'll see, one of Mrs. P's specials coming up tonight. But it's, um, it's yeah, it's just a total change in the winter. I, you know, I have the front on, I have the ground sheet on to stop any, any coldness coming up. You know, it's, everything's more comfortable. I yeah, put the radio on, have a little listen. You know, I just want to be, I want to be fishing effectively. So, what's, 
what's the situation? What's going on? Well, I'm up early. Even in the winter, I still get up mega early. You know, probably half an hour before it gets light. Especially when it's flat calm like it is now. Because I want to see any sign of a car moving anywhere. If I see one, they don't tend to really move that far unless there's a big, strong, cold wind. Then they get on the back of it. They don't tend to you know, venture very far from their winter sort of haunts. You might have a few different you know, groups of fish around the lake. Uh, but they, once you sort of find them, even if they're not showing, they normally it's a good little area to concentrate, trickle a bit of bait on. Now I'm watching this morning, I'm watching the old black chickens out there. I don't know if you can see them. Black chickens, about three quarters of the way across from where I'm fishing, they're diving and they're picking up the odd boily. So it's a, they're a good indicator of where people have had bait, they've left bait in before. Always watch what the wildlife's doing. A lot of people they just don't tend to bother. They, they, you know, watch, watch the wildlife because they tell you such a lot about what's going on. They might even be actually, oh look, he's out, look. Look, 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 look he's out. Morning, in you go. He's out this morning, look, look. Look, yeah, he's heard a couple of runners doing a run around the park lake. He's heard them, he's out. Bloody hell, first time I've seen him out since yesterday. He'll be back in though, look. Look at him. He's on it, little tail wagging. He's having a little look about, and he? Look, oh, he's going for a little venture. Got a little venture, find some rats. He was out earlier on after the rabbits, that's for certain. Last night he woke me up at the door, wanted to go out and have a little bit of a toilet. And uh, then I heard a load of barking and a load of, load of hell breaking loose in the, uh, in the undergrowth, which was the, old, which was the old rabbits. There's quite a few rabbits around this bit, so he's in his element chasing them, that's for certain. But yeah, we, we haven't got a lot, of, um, lot to go on at the moment, but we keep on keeping on. And as I said earlier on in, in the vlog, I've got two hinge stiff rigs out one on a fluo white one on a washed out pink and i've got a bottom bait which i've nurtured up you know put a bit of a bit of hemp oil around it and some hydrolyzed liver powder which is you know they love it in the winter time these fish all fish do it's something they need in their diet you know all the amino acids and that in there they need it so but we'll be having a closer look at that over the coming weeks where well, i doctor me baits what bulk baits i use so we'll be going to a few different places. We're having a few trips to Sandhurst. Might have a couple of trips to Farlows as well and a few other places. But we're going to concentrate on the Park Lake for now. There's still chance, I think, just a shallow water. Still chance of one of them big ones coming out before winter really does hit. I'm going to get the coffee on. I'm going to check he's all right. He's doing, having a bit of a mad one in there at the moment. And we're just going to keep watching. That's the main thing. That's why I'm up. I just want to watch, look, just one sign of anything and I'm on it or I'm cast into the area or it just builds a, the picture for me as winter goes on. Rods have remained motionless, which I didn't really surprise me last night because it's so bloody cold with that nor cold northerly wind going on my shoulder. So that's where we're at, that's what's happening and we'll catch up soon. Well, welcome back. Right, about midday. Nothing's happening, haven't seen anything at all. Very, very, very quiet, no line, there's nothing. So I'm reeling two of the rods, because one of the rod, my right hand rod just went down so lovely on the um, hinge stiff rig that I've just got to leave it there. I've just got to leave it. I just feel that it's about as good as it gets. But I've just reeled in my rods, and I thought I'd just have show you a little look of the hinge stiff rig. and how I'm using it, components, all that type of stuff. So there, there's that one, there you go. That's the hinge stiffy. See, a nice little white fluoro pop up on there. That is 25 pound or 20 pound rigidity. God, I can't even say that right, can I? <laughs> From Fox, which I found, there's lots of different ones out there. The ESP one's good. The Fox rigidity, rigidity is good as well. Uh, I've caught lots of fish on both of them. And that's 25 pound black amnesia. It's a nice memory free uh, bit of line, cheap as anything as well. I'll put links down 
in the description of the video to give you some more information. I've got a little bit of putty, about three quarters of the way down, just so the hook link, the amnesia, doesn't bow up in the air off the off the lake bed. I found looking out in a boat and that, looking at the margins when you cast it, that you can lay up, you know, up in the air in the swim, which is not good because that's not how you want it to do. So there you go, that's the old hinge stiffy. I'll be doing a video just on the hinge stiffy at some point over the next two or three weeks, so watch out for that. So I'm going to have a bit of a recast, get them out there. I'm going to change over that bottom bait to another hinge stiffy with another, I don't know if I'm going to go pink or white, I'm not too sure yet. I'll have a little think about that one. Uh, probably white. The reason I'm doing that is I love bottom baits, so you know, if, if you've been following these vlogs, the autumn ones and the spring ones, well, the autumn ones, you'll see that I like the old double bottom baits on the D-Rig. I'm changing over all three to pop-ups now because there's so many leaves about, plus the water temperature's starting to really drop, and I think a big old lure sitting there like that, like a prey mantis, is going to, um, you know, they're going to come across it, oh, little white one, little pink one, I have a little investigation of that. There's nothing better than even a hinge stiff rig or the multi rig used as a pop up. So I'm going to get them out, I'm going to retie them up, get them out, and uh, settle down for the rest of the afternoon. Just keep watching. I just want to see one. That's what I want to see. I want to just see one poke his head out somewhere. It's this lovely sunshine. Look, you can see it's so bright that it's, you know, they've got to be about in those upper layers. Must be warming up a little bit more in those upper layers. Him, well, I'll give you an update on him. Where are you? Look, all you can see is a little paw. Look, just a little paw just sitting in there. Little, little paw like that just poking out the bloody bed chair. He loves it, doesn't he, eh? Bless him. Bless his little cotton socks, eh? God, he's a lazy sod. Right, I'm going to get cracking. I'm going to get the rods out for the night. <clears throat> I'm going to get their kettle on and then we'll have a little chat about other things and see where the session progresses. Still got one more night left. All to play for, get them rods on the dance floor because it really does only take one bite. Well, welcome back. About an hour before dark, and look at that, it's gone like a mill pond. Now that, is when I expect to see them. Been blowing all day, trickling along. It's gone like a mill pond now. This is when I want to see them. So I can move, it's about an hour before dark, or see them in the area. Looking spot on. Look at that cloud as well. Bit of cloud cover, it's not going to be as cold tonight. Well, it don't look like it's going to be anyway. Looked at the weather, it's going to be about six or seven degrees. So. You know, it was, I'm sure it was minus last night with that frost on the rods. Bloody freezing cold it was. But I had the old water bottle, the old carp dog. He kept me old trotters warm anyway. Well, I ain't seen him a lot today. I'm not even going to bother looking for him because I know where he is. I went to go for a walk earlier on. He come out with me. He stopped. He looked. I went, come on in. Let's go for a walk just up to the next swim to have a look. He just looked at me like that and just went back in and got back in the bag. He don't care, does he? He just don't care. He's all snuggled up. I won't see him till tomorrow now when it's pack up time. He ain't coming out. Oh, well, sorry, the two o'clock wake up call. That's the one, yeah. Chasing the imaginary rabbit. That'd be him, wouldn't it? Yeah, just got off to sleep. Snoring away and he'd be barking and scratching at the bivvy door or whatever try and chase something that don't exist. <laughs> but that's a carp dog, isn't it? You gotta love him, haven't you? Bless him, eh? Oh yeah, it's looking really good. As you see me earlier on, got the rods out. Nice and um you know all three on pop-ups now, all three on the hinge stiffy. It's yeah, it's uh it's warmer and I just wanna see one now before dark. See I'm in the right area or or sort of where they are or where one is at least anyway. But let's have a look what Mrs. B has got me for dinner tonight. Look at that. Sirloin steak. How's about that then, eh? Mrs. B 
three to four minutes in the old ridge monkey. Happy days, isn't it? But look what else she's got, mate. Mushrooms to go with it. Oh, mate, I'm going to be at munching. He ain't having none. Well, I don't know. He'd probably, he'd probably wake up then. He'd be like that. He'd be looking. He'd be smelling. He'd be rubbing up against me, thinking he's my best mate all of a sudden. But also, I picked myself up. Look. New potatoes. And petit pois. The old little peas, small peas. So we're going to have a proper dinner tonight. The only thing that's missing is the old asparagus, I think. But we'll come to that. We'll build up to that in the next couple of weeks. And we'll see what else we can cook up, see what else ideas Mrs B's got. But that's going to be lovely, isn't it? Going to cook that up, all nice, bit of steak, mushrooms, and new potatoes and peas. Don't get much better than that when you're out fishing, does it? You've got to eat properly in the winter. You have to eat properly. It just gets cold and demoralising. And if you're looking forward to a nice, hot, proper meal, proper grub, sets you up for the night, doesn't it? You sleep well on that as well. And you don't get cold because it's giving you energy. It's giving you plenty of like, carbs with the potatoes, protein with the steak, mushrooms and the peas and all that and everything. A few cups of the old Yorkshire tea as well. Sorts you out for the night, doesn't it? No matter how cold it gets. Got the old fluffy one in there, keeping me warm. Calming on, Pooh, bloody hell. Might as well be indoors watching EastEnders, aren't I? Don't think so. Bloody hell. Right, well, that's about it. That's about it. I'm going to get that on in a minute. As soon as it gets dark, that's going straight on, I tell you. he will be out like a shot. But I just want to see one now. It's getting, it's getting to that time where, you know, I want to see one. Oh, that's right, what's the water temperature? 8.3. So it's a, you know, it's gone down a bit, it's gone up a bit. I think when we arrived it was nine, wasn't it, yesterday? Might have been nine, but it was bloody cold last night. It was eight earlier on, so it's gone up a tiny little bit. Surprising, you think now, no, the sun's not out, it won't be going up. But it's just the way it is. It's actually gone up from 8.2 about half an hour ago. So hopefully, we're not going to have a frost. It doesn't look like we're going to have a frost with all this cloud. And there's no rain tomorrow. So we won't be packing up in the rain, which is always a bonus isn't it, in the winter, freezing your nuts off and it's pouring down with rain. But it looks surreal out there, doesn't it? It looks like one should poke his head out somewhere. It really does. It just looks so good. No liners, no nothing. They're on the dance floor as usual. And we can just live in hope, can't we? It really does only take one bite. And you've got to keep on keeping on. You've got to keep going. Every couple of weeks, every weekend, or whenever you can get out, you've got to keep going. And the main thing is to keep watching where they are. You know, normally this time of year, in the winter, depending on the wind as well, if it's blowing a hoolie, get on the back of it. But it's where where they want to be. This water temperature's getting real low now, and it's where they want to be. And they, they more than likely will stay in that area all winter. If you can trickle a bit of bait in as well, jobs are good, and you should have a couple of fish over the winter period. Right, well, I'm going to get that lot on the go in a minute, and I'll catch up with you soon. Not a lot happening this morning. Oh, look, oh. Look at him. Look at that little monster, eh? Look at him. Little snozzle poking out. Well, it's pack up time, isn't it? Pack up time. A bit warmer last night, and it's warmer today, would you believe? About nine degrees is meant to be today, with a, with a southwesterly. Absolutely spot on, and we got to pack up. Always the way, isn't it? Such a change from yesterday when it was minus the first night. I reckon it's probably minus one, zero degrees, absolutely freezing me nuts off him and the fluffy creature. But that's fishing, isn't it? Roger's still on the dance floor. So we've always got a chance. Always got a chance. So it's 9.1 degrees. So it's warmed up. The water temperature's warmed up this morning. It's only going to get warmer today. So I wish I was coming down now for a couple of days, looking at the weather. Next couple of days going to be warm-ish for winter. But we'll be back, or we'll be at Sandhurst, or we'll be at Farlow's, or we'll be somewhere else for the next vlog. We've enjoyed ourselves. You know, it's nice to get out in the fresh air rather than stuck in the office all day. Shame I haven't seen anything or we haven't caught anything or no liners. Just that minus temperatures on the shallow lake like this just killed it, I think. Yeah, it can be very fickly in winter, especially on shallow lakes. You can get 
cold snap and it just shuts the fish off. But as I say, I wish I was coming down now for a couple of days. It looks absolutely spot on. A little bit chilly in the wind, but it's winter, isn't it? You know. But that's it. That's what we're going to do. Him and me. No, it disappeared again. That's our lot. We're going to pack up. Thanks for joining us, guys. Don't forget to watch the next video. If you haven't subscribed, you may want to think about hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification icon. You'll never miss another video again. See you for the next vlog.